The last time a huge catastrophic asteroid hit the Earth, it was around 65 million years ago, and it wiped out three quarters of all life on Earth. That was the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. This type of event happens around every 100 million years. And if an asteroid were to hit our Earth today, it could mean the literal annihilation of our species. So what is the plan to deal with such an event, and is there anything that can be done about it? Find out right now on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We do the news and overload you with the most interesting information we find on the internet. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and if you're new here, you should uh, like and subscribe, but whatever. Are you ready for another asteroid review? That was a lame clap. Let me try again. Asteroid review. Yeah! I know it seems like we're always scaring you guys with asteroid stories, but I thought a great way to talk about this subject would be to focus on what will be done to protect the inhabitants of Earth from such an event. We all know by now that scientists are planning for an Earth asteroid collision. We did a whole video on that that's clickable on your screen right now. Unfortunately, regardless of what Hollywood movies will tell you, because I don't want to miss a thing, the way we would deal with an asteroid does not include a bunch of explosions. When an asteroid hits our planet, it will literally shake the Earth. There there will be volcano eruptions and earthquakes, huge tsunamis will wallop the coastlines, and the skies will go dark with debris and dust that covers the sun. Back in 1998, Congress told NASA that they had to identify all the killer asteroids in our vicinity that are potentially hazardous. NASA currently identifies and tracks 90% of those potentially hazardous objects that are 450 feet or larger. A group of researchers from around the world just met at the University of Maryland to figure out what to do in this type of situation. So if an object is less than 165 feet, the international consensus is to evacuate the threatened region. It is possible for scientists to predict the country it will strike, two weeks ahead of time. Days away from impact, it can be narrowed down to within hundreds of kilometers. Because all the potentially hazardous asteroids are being tracked, we will likely know about a collision years in advance. That is plenty of time to pick up and move to another area of the planet, far away from the impact zone. Sure, it would suck to move away from your home, but it would also suck to die during an asteroid strike. Gotta prioritize. Okay, so what about bigger asteroids that have the potential to wipe out all life on Earth? Well, nuking them isn't an option. If you nuke an asteroid, you risk the asteroid breaking up into smaller pieces and subsequently crashing into multiple places on Earth. That's not good. That's bad. In the event a large asteroid was on its way to our planet, scientists would instead launch a device toward the asteroid to change its trajectory and bump it off course. Another option is a gravitational tugboat. If you put a large object near an asteroid that affects its gravity, you can use that object to physically pull the asteroid off course. Nuclear weapon use against asteroids is only regarded as a last resort. They're actually technically banned by the Outer Space Treaty of 1967. But in the event that it's the fate of our planet that's at stake, I would imagine that nuclear weapons would be considered. Again, gotta prioritize. If we do decide to use nukes, we would send a nuke to the general area of the asteroid where it would explode, also sending the threatening asteroid off course, not hitting it directly. According to one study, you could deflect an asteroid up to 800 meters in diameter. Being that an asteroid earth collision could be years and years away, our technology will be a lot better by then. We will have new advanced techniques for dealing with this type of thing. So not to worry. For now. Hey, at least there's a plan for dealing with asteroids. The dinosaurs definitely didn't have a plan. Unless you're talking about Barney. Barney always has a plan. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video by responding to some of your comments. These are from our video, Head of NASA warns asteroid will hit Earth in our lifetime. Tawana Omar said, anxiety overload. You know, we totally missed out on an epic April Fool's prank, changing the banner of the channel to Anxiety Overload. Damn, next year. Babel said, Charlotte, there are asteroids hiding behind you. Ah! Marcy York said, man, I turned off the bell now because this is a horrible title to read before bed. You mean you don't like dreaming about asteroids? Those are my favorite dreams. Raven Alfred said, great, now I have something to tell my therapist. Tell her I say hi. That is it for me, thank you for watching. Click this playlist to keep watching and obviously you should leave a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and I will see you in a future IO video.